Hi, Feral Fang here from Phoenix Town Gaming. Um, I wasn't satisfied with the quality of my original Castlevania vids. When me and Munch were doing the editing, uh, it didn't come up with all those errors, so when I originally said the quality was lackluster, I meant the sound. I did not have any idea that the video was like that, but it came to my attention that it was like that, and I just want to let you know that I am not satisfied with that, and that quality I'm not okay with. Uh, unfortunately, I beat Death and Dracula with uh, only one sub weapon. Like, I didn't shoot out two or three at a time. And apparently, online, that's like a big thing. Not online, but what I read on the forums. I didn't know what the Roman numerals meant, which I mentioned in one of my videos uh, that you can shoot multiple sub weapons considering the number of numerals you have. Um, yeah, I didn't know that that's what that was. So, I might end up just trying to salvage as much as I can and show Death and Dracula off. So, be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to uh, just go straight into Castlevania 3, the prequel to the original Castlevania. Um, I didn't do Simon's Quest yet, but I do have intentions of going to that. So I don't, you know, need any comments saying, Oh, what did you do? You know, Simon's Quest 2, you're doing it in order. Uh, as far as canon-wise go, this isn't necessarily wrong, and it's the most accurate to the first Castlevania, so I thought that, you know, it'll be easiest to compare. Um, with the first Castlevania, like I said, I'm going to try to salvage uh, the Grim Reaper and Dracula. But I'm going to end up uh, doing the Castlevania Chronicles, which is a remake of the original Castlevania on um, PlayStation 3. I can buy it on the PlayStation Network for like $6. It originally came out on PlayStation, and I'll just get some footage of that, and I'll probably do a whole thing through that. So you guys can stay tuned for that. But yeah, once again, I want to apologize for the quality of my first video and for my Castlevania playthroughs for a franchise like this, as close as it is for my solo run. I want to let you know that me and, you know, Munch and everyone here at Phoenix Town Gaming were not happy about that. So thanks for bringing that to my attention. Well, that's Feral Fang signing off, and please enjoy part one. Alright, Feral Fang here on my playthrough of Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Alright, Feral Fang here on my playthrough of Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. This is the third game in the NES trilogy, and... Can't fit my entire name here, something like that. And it is a prequel to the original. That is Trevor Belmont, the ancestor to Simon Belmont. And Yeah, Trevor Belmont. Pretty peace. He's a Belmont. Oh Belmont's kick ass. And they all have the whip. Which looks like I can upgrade just like the first game. Got my first sub weapon. Got my hearts. I already got ten hearts. Huh? Looking good, looking good. Fifteen hearts. And I'm fully upgraded to the full whip. Just like in the first Castlevania game, you can fully upgrade the Vampire Killer, the whip famous for the Belmonts. And here's my first Goonies. There's some points if you're into that sort of thing. It's an old game. It's just replay value, if you ask me. Ooh, heart. Not gonna need it that bad, but you gotta get that. Darn. No pork shot. I don't like I need it right now, but it's just good. I see a bat up there to get it. Dang. Oh. Well. Luckily, they don't hurt too bad, but they're annoying. So annoying. Alright, moving on. There's a bat. Whip. Got it. Whip. Got it. Jump. Jump. I'm, I'm not even worried about this. Nothing that I'm gonna need that bad. I hope. Totally got that. No push up. Bone dodge. Climb, 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 climb. Totally got it. The range on this whip is so good. I pointed that out before, but you have a bit of a delay when you push the button, so it just takes skill to be able to time it, and I jumped right into that. Anything good. Alright, I'll take that. Making my way down. Now, if I remember correctly, these blue things. I'm going to go ahead and test it up here because it doesn't even matter. If you jump on it, you fall. Exactly. And that counts if you get knocked back, like what I what just happened to me. If I get knocked back on those platforms, I will fall through. So that means I can, in fact, fall down. Whip. Dodge that and moving on. And 
And yes, once again, I have not played this game. I'm familiar with the music because I listen to all Castlevania music. And it is probably my favorite music in all of video game history up there with Metal Gear Solid. Okay, guess I'll just grab that X. I have my favorite video game franchise music. Sonic has really good music too, I'm not even going to knock that, but it gives a creepy, eerie feel, it's just perfect for the feel of the game. It's so good. All Castlevania music's good, like, look that up. If you have not yet, I urge you to. Okay. Oh, God. Got him. This guy's so annoying. Hunchbacks, man. And Symphony of the Night, they're known as flea men, and they just suck. They just hop around everywhere. Make it through. Low health, though. That worries me a bit, but. Yeah, that works. Nothing. Dang it. No. Music change. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, okay. Knife, 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 Oh my god! I just spammed the shit out of that whip. I'm not even gonna lie. Stage one complete without the loss of a life. Right on the edge. But that's what this game's all about. You against the world, you against the boss, you against the castle. And that's how it's done. I wouldn't have it any other way. And here's where it differs from the other Castlevania games. Well, of the time, the original three. Uh, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Now I can choose my path. You can either go top or bottom, which in the original Castlevania you wouldn't have that. In Simon's Quest you do have a, like a free roam type thing, but I'm going to take the bottom path, because the top path you see it looks like a castle or gears. I'm pointing to it, but you can't see. And the other way is a forest, and I'm going to take the forest path. And I will pick this up on part two. This concludes my part one playthrough through Castlevania 3, so stay tuned. This is Farrow Fang signing out. Take care, guys.